Hello and welcome to Trish Polish. I'm Trish and my goal is to swatch as much of the nail polish in Japan as I possibly can. If that sounds like something you'd also be interested in, please consider subscribing. If not, that's okay too. It's still nice to see you. I mean, at this point, are y'all even surprised that I'm like three weeks behind on posting this? Team late to the party? Yeah? <laughs> Today we are finally taking a look at Holo Taco's Dark Rainbow Collection. Holo Taco's Linear Holographic Formula is actually one of my favorites on the market and so I'm always excited to get new colors in that finish. Like I think that that's something Holo Taco especially excels in. You know, it's in the name, Holo. Also, the darker colors speak to my already in spooky mode soul, so absolutely on board for this. So with the Dark Rainbow Collection, it does complete the trifecta of rainbow collections because we have the pastel hollow collection, the original rainbow collection, and now dark hollows. So I guess it's like hollow achievement unlocked, yeah? Very quickly, in the unlikely event that you have not heard of Hollow Taco, it was created by former YouTuber Christine of Simply Nail Logical. They are vegan, they are cruelty free, and they are five free. I'll talk more about pricing and availability after the swatches, but first, we've got seven vampy, dark, linear holographic polishes to look at, so let's get into the swatches. First up today, we have the shade Crimson Void. Drop your heart into the Crimson Void. This deep scarlet red linear holographic polish will fill the hole in your heart with its holographic flare. Slap this deep crimson shade on and you're ready for vamping season. It's described as a linear holographic formula in a deep scarlet red shade, and two coats is advised for full coverage. So I'm not sure if it's just me or if it's because these polishes are so saturated and so pigmented, but I feel like the formula on these is a little bit thicker than the regular Holotaco holographic formula. And I kind of think that if I'd been a little bit more careful in my application, I maybe could have gotten away with this one in one coat? Maybe? This shade is like full-on House of the Dragon. I freaking love it. It is so pretty. I'll talk a little bit more about the controversy surrounding this one and Dead Petals after the swatches, but for now, let's just enjoy the gloriousness that is Crimson Void. So, I'm absolute crap at capturing the holographic flare in these polishes, but trust me, it's there. I mean, at this point, we've all come to expect like a fantastic linear holographic formula from Holo Taco, and this collection is on par. It does not disappoint. But like I said earlier, I do feel like the formulas are just a little bit on the thick side with this one. I mean, it could just be the bottles I got, but it felt really thick to me. Anyway, here is Crimson Void in two coats with a glossy taco. Next up is the shade Burnt Bridges. Don't look back as you cross your burnt bridge. This rust-colored linear holographic polish sparkles in the light with its deep, warm, fiery undertones. You're better off never going back to boring nails. This one is described as a linear holographic formula in a warm rust colored shade. And again, two coats is advised for full coverage. So I believe this one is the orange of this collection. This one definitely needs two coats for full coverage, but look at how pretty that brown rusty color is. It reminds me of the leaves turning colors on the trees. Like this is a really unique choice for an orange kind of shade. And honestly, in some light, it does look a little bronzy or a little like coppery, but uh, in my little studio lights, it's definitely brown. Rust. It's, it's rust colored. Let's go with that. No problems with the formula here. It went on nice and smooth and was fully opaque in two coats. This one might even carry us into winter season because wouldn't this be like the perfect gingerbread man color, right? Is it just me? Or Valentine's Day because it could be chocolate too. Anyway, y'all don't sleep on this shade. It encompasses like all of the freaking seasons except maybe summer and you might even can get away with it then. And here is Burnt Bridges in two coats with a glossy taco. And next up we have Amber Apathy. When you're not sure if you should stop or go and you're feeling that amber apathy, bring a spark to your existence with this dark topaz yellow linear holographic shade. Reconcile with your past in this antique dark golden hue. This one is described as a linear holographic formula in a dark topaz yellow shade. And as with all the others, two coats is advised for full coverage. Okay, so hear me out. Let me shout it from the rooftops. Do not sleep on this color. It is so gorgeous. It is the perfect antiqued golden shade and y'all, it is so pretty on the nail. 
Again, my studio lights and camera setup are not doing this justice. It is so fiery and so golden. It surprised me because this shade ended up being one of my favorites out of this entire collection and I usually don't gravitate towards yellow polishes, but there's just something about that burnt golden color that hits just right for fall, you know? This one gives gorgeous coverage in two coats, like if you have longer nails you might need a third, but I really kind of don't even think you would then. Okay, so in the autumn, I tend to lean towards super dark colors like greens, navy blues, blacks, dark reds, but for some reason this year I am so into these golden colors and I can't stop wearing this color. Anyway, here is Amber Apathy in two coats with a glossy taco. Next up is Lost in the Woods. Don't forget your phone if you get lost in the woods. Point your flash at this deep hunter green linear holographic shade and find your way out of the forest. The perfect shade for getting lost. This one is described as a linear holographic formula in a deep forest green shade. And again, two coats is advised for full coverage. Okay, so before my box arrived, I legit thought this one was going to be my favorite. Okay, that came out weird. I don't not like this shade, but I really didn't expect to like Amber Apathy as much as I did, and I gotta say, this one was knocked down just a peg because, uh, I, yeah, blame Amber Apathy. So I feel like I'm kind of talking in circles a little bit. I don't not like this color. It's really, really pretty. It is what it says it is. It is a hunter green holographic shade. It looks absolutely stunning when the light hits the holographic flare, which of course my lights and camera do not capture. But I just didn't love it as much as I thought I would. That being said though, this is another one of those shades that can carry us into winter because this is definitely a holiday color. Is it just me? Like I feel like this one could go Christmassy like in the blink of an eye. I mean it's definitely got the jewel toned autumnal thing going for it, but I feel like this one could go either way. We do love transitional shades. And here is Lost in the Woods in two coats with a glossy taco. Next up is Sunken Secrets. Dive into the sea in search of sunken secrets. Like the deep end of the ocean, this holographic blue shade has a dark sparkle with astonishing depth. Time to sink into a dark blue hollow mood. This one is described as a linear holographic formula in a dark navy blue shade. And again, two coats is advised for full coverage. Woo, she's pretty. This is a super pretty color, y'all. And it's definitely got that deep ocean, dark, almost like winter night sky kind of vibe going. Like I could totally see this used for like a night sky like constellation manicure. Like I think it would be a really pretty background for that. So we all know that the darker polishes really, really pop when that holographic flare hits. And again, I'm really sorry I couldn't capture that in my studio lights here, but just trust me, when the sun hits this polish, it is on fire. And because of the darker pigment, it pops even more. It's so pretty. And like the more I look back over my swatch footage, the more I'm really struggling to choose a favorite out of this collection because just all of the darker colors just really, really speak to my soul right now. I do need to point out though, like if you don't wear a base coat with these darker colors, your fingernails are going to stain. There's honestly just really no way to avoid that with these darker colors. So good rule of thumb, always wear a base coat. And here is Sunken Secrets in two coats with a glossy taco. Next up is Violet Nightmares. Make your dark hollow dreams come true with Violet Nightmares. This deep royal purple linear holographic shade will keep you up at night. Nails can't rest until they get a taste of this lush dark drip. Jesus simply. This one is described as a linear holographic formula in a dark purple shade. And again, two coats for full coverage. So just ignore the fact that I completely forgot how to apply nail polish in the first coat of this one and let's just look at the color because it's pretty. Also, the angst and drama in that catch copy caught me off guard and like <laughs> that really made me laugh. Much drama, much angst. Inner teen Trish is like super happy right now. This shade is so luxe and so gorgeous. Like the deep dark purple with that linear hollow is just so stunning, so pretty. Pretty sure I've said so pretty for like every single one of these polishes so far. So, um, sorry about that. My vocabulary seems to have escaped me. 
Or you could say I've been rendered speechless by violent nightmares, which uh, taken out of context is a whole different problem. Okay, so y'all can go ahead and call me nuts because I liked this one a lot more than I thought I would. Not to say that I didn't think I would like it at all, but I didn't think it would be one of my favorites. Do you know what I mean? But it is like so deliciously luxurious looking. Like, I love it. And here is Violet Nightmares in two coats with a glossy taco. And last up for today is Dead Petals. Find the beauty of flowers when they turn into dead petals. This dark magenta linear holographic shade has an ominous orchid sparkle that will catch wandering eyes. Hollow nail polish? Greater than flower bouquets. This one is described as a linear holographic formula in a dark magenta shade. And two coats is advised for full coverage. Ah, dead petals. I suppose depending on who you ask, this one is either the identical twin sister or the cousin of Crimson Void. But uh, I'll, I'll touch on that in a minute. Let's just talk about this shade for a second. It's like a wine color. Also, ironically, the formula on this one was just as thick as Crimson Void, so I felt like it was a little tricky to work with and it went on a little bit more like chunky. Like it leveled out eventually, especially after two coats of Glossy Taco, but it did go on a little bit chunky and a lot thicker. For me personally, the way I see this color is it falls somewhere between Crimson Void and Violet Nightmares. Like I can kind of see a little bit of both of them in this shade. And that could totally be the fault of my studio lights, it could totally be the fault of my computer monitor, or it could just be my eyes, like I'm not really sure. But I see both red and blue in this shade. What about y'all? Do you see more red or do you see more blue? Anyway, here is Dead Petals in two coats with a glossy taco. So what do you think? Which one of these were you most drawn to? And if you already own the collection, is your favorite the one you thought it would be? Leave me a comment down below and let's have a chat about it. I'm super curious to see if y'all's opinion changed too because my favorite that I thought would be my favorite didn't end up actually being my favorite, if that makes sense. So y'all probably already figured it out already, but I'm just a little bit obsessed with Amber Apathy. There is something about the burnished gold finish that gives me this total steampunk vibe, which I think is so perfect and such a mood for fall, like, I am obsessed with it. Obsessed. But with that being said, it was a little hard to choose a favorite for this because I really loved all of these polishes genuinely. And with that being said, let's talk about the uh, elephant in the room with Crimson Void and Dead Petals. So these two have caught a lot of crap for being pretty similar polishes like are they sisters? Are they twins? Are they cousins? Are they not even related, but look somehow similar anyway? I guess it's up to you. Like, I know Christine explained this a few times already, and like everyone sees color differently, and then depending on your monitor or your screen or whatever, everything's gonna look different online. But once you have them in person, to be honest, for me anyway, they look like totally different polishes. Are they similar? Yeah. Are they the same? Not to me. What do you think? Honestly, I see a lot more blue in Dead Petals, and I would put it somewhere between Crimson Void and Violet Nightmares, like somewhere in that spectrum. And it's supposed to be like a dark magenta, so I guess that makes sense. But with that being said, they are really similar, and when it comes down to it, and seeing as they are in the same seven polish collection, could Hollow Taco have gone a different route? Yeah, probably. But I think they've heard the feedback. Christine has addressed the issue, so I'm pretty sure they're going to take the feedback on board and hopefully in future collections we won't have the same problem again. Then again, with colors, who knows, right? And now a little bit more information about the polishes themselves. They do come in 12 milliliter bottles. They are sold for $14 each on the Hollow Taco website. And unfortunately, the collector's box is sold out, but you can still buy the bundle for $91. And I believe these polishes are not limited edition, so there's no like huge rush to go out and buy them like right now. But they do fit the season really well, so if you're in the spooky mood, definitely recommend getting this collection because it will sate your dark hollow needs. So that's going to be all from me today. Before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And if you'd like to hang out and talk some more about Japanese nail polish or, you know, just nail polish in general, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos on Mondays. Thank you guys so much for watching and y'all have a good week.